Hi, I'm Deb Jackson, Executive Director at Old Town Playhouse. I'm here today with Paul Jarbo, who is on our Board of Trustees and is also the Chair of our Bylaws Committee. We're here today to talk to you about bylaws and the proposed changes that will be brought forth at the annual meeting on June 24th of this year. So let's start with what are bylaws? Why do we have them? Bylaws are the framework of an organization. Organizations have bylaws because they want to maintain consistency in the running of their business. They use bylaws to communicate organizational rules both internally and externally. When OTP was incorporated in 1984, the bylaws were written to reflect the time, size, and scope of Old Town Playhouse then. From 1984 through 2009, the bylaws have been amended nine times to reflect organizational changes and changes in the times. It is important for an organization to continually have their bylaws and their operations in sync for a healthy organization. The bylaws committee of the board of trustees has been reviewing our current bylaws for the last year, making suggestions and working on proposed changes. Some of the thoughts initially were discarded after volunteer input. And we have now a document that will be voted on at the annual meeting. So much thought has gone into this process. And Paul, can you tell us about the, the changes, give us an overview, and then talk about some of the changes within the bylaws? Sure. Would be happy to, Deb. There's nothing radical in the proposed changes. As you mentioned, the changes are minor adjustments to reflect how OTP operates now in 2021. And I can give you an overview of the various sections. First is membership. The membership criteria was streamlined to one classification rather than the current two classifications. There was potential subjectivity in who was included when there were two groups. We've changed the committee structure. When OTP first started, it was a small group that divided themselves into two boards. Then when Young Company was brought into the family, it also had a board. Move forward to today, we literally have hundreds of volunteers active in our organization. We have leadership committees of artistic, volunteer, young company that are made up of members outside of the board of trustees. For board committees, several that were listed as standing committees of the board no longer exist. The list has been refined to finance, bylaws and nominations, and advancement committee. These committees are made up of board members. There is clarification in the new bylaws of the fiscal year and the timing of membership dues in the annual meeting. OTP's fiscal year is July 1st through June 30th each year. Our membership dues will now follow our fiscal year. And remember, to be eligible to vote at the annual meeting, dues must be up to date by the date of the meeting. Uh, we've made changes to the date of the annual meeting. The annual meeting is always targeted for the end of June, but it may not always be possible as we saw this past year. Flexibility is now being given to move the date of the annual meeting if necessary. Also, the current bylaws require notice of the annual meeting in the Record Eagle, and as we know, today's communication with members is mainly through other channels. Thanks, Paul. Speaking of communication, we are making a conscious effort to communicate to our membership and our volunteers in different ways. So an email was sent out on 517 with a lot of detail about the annual meeting and all of these changes. This video will be posted on our social media and our website for future reference. And both the current bylaws and the proposed bylaws are also posted on our website so people can read them. So the annual meeting, as Paul said, is on Thursday, June 24th in our parking lot. We're hoping for great weather and hoping to see everyone there, but if it's raining, we now can move inside with the current COVID regulations. As Paul said, anyone whose membership is up to date by that point, by the time of the meeting, is eligible to vote. It's $25 donation per individual or $40 donation per two-person family. We will be accepting absentee ballots this year, and an email with the ballot will go out about the second week of June, and those can be returned either via email or dropped off at the office. We ask that absentee ballots be returned by the day prior to the meeting so that our staff has enough time to 
validate membership, and tally the votes. The results of all voting at the annual meeting are announced at the annual meeting itself. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. It's always helpful to get those questions in advance because probably other people have similar questions and then we can collate them and get answers out effectively to everyone. We hope to see all of you at the annual meeting in June. All of the board will be there uh, to, uh, for questions. And immediately following the annual meeting will be our volunteer kickoff party, and that's always fun. So we're looking forward to seeing you. Thanks, Deb, and we'll see everybody at the annual meeting.